What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> When you're spending the afternoon dynoing your turbocharged mini moke, it takes a few things. These are the graphs of needle comparisons and where we're reprofiling our own needles. Different spring rates, different oil in the dash pot, timing, boost, oh, and lots of needle choices. But don't forget the uh, beef jerky pepperoni and some fizzy water. But can you chug a sparkling water and not burp? <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> guys so we just finished dynoing the moke with the new jet motors turbo kit on it so i'd like to tell you about some of the results so come on over here let's pop the bonnet off and let's take a look at this gorgeous piece of kit i'm gonna go set this bonnet inside for a sec so come on uh i'm really excited about this kit you guys because it was so easy to install it was lickety split um once we got it on, we started driving it. Uh, we spent the next day dyno tuning it. And when we first put it on the dyno, that's, this is a bone stock 850, three synchro, four speed, A series engine in a bone stock mini moke, right? When we rolled it, we changed nothing. This is how it came off the factory floor. It was 24 horsepower at the wheels on a hot day on our dyno. So woo, 24 horsepower, wow. Um, after we changed nothing, all we did was add our turbo kit. That's all we did, change nothing. Put the turbo kit on, tuned it, got it running real nice, put it on the dyno, 49.9 horsepower at the wheels on a really hot day. That's incredible. We doubled the horsepower and we've been driving this, tuning it, having some fun. Um, we did realize that, you know, it, it felt af after the dyno run, that was great. We got 50 horsepower, great. Um, we noticed that when we were test driving, it just had, it had a lag, a little dead spot. And we thought, well, it, it felt like it needed more air. So you know what we did? We put 1.5 roller rockers on an 850 and that woke it completely up. That was the perfect move because now this thing takes the throttle really nice. It accelerates. It's perfect all right so i want to show you something else what we did was this here is our pre-production model okay this is before we were able to clock the turbo and or uh, change the intake charge pipe we wanted it to be cleaner simpler and easier so guess what here we have it we needed to clock the turbo but in order to do that we had to manufacture these little brackets so that we could rotate the turbo in the proper direction so that the short and easy simple clean intake charge pipe look, look how easy that is 
clean. You know why we did that? So right hand drive, left hand drive, uh, cleared the master cylinders, the brake lines, and just made everything so much easier to run a really short intake charge pipe with the blow off valve. So this is the production. This is pre-production before we were able to turn the turbo with the bracket. So we're gonna go for a ride in this now and we're gonna see you in the next video. So stay classy, San Diego. Go f yourself, San Diego. <laughs>